Hey, this is Aaron with Faith to Walk Ministries, and boy, has this country been chaotic for a few weeks. I tell you what, it's enough to bring a lot of anxiety into your life, a lot of stress going on. And whether stress affects you emotionally or physically or mentally, it can really weigh heavy on you. And there's some people that have heart problems that's playing on them. Some people with even just ulcers and IBS, and it's playing on them as well. The anxiety can affect you in so many different ways, and it can affect you spiritually as well. But let me tell you, God has an answer to bring peace to your mind, heart, and soul. And so it's found in Philippians chapter 4. Verses four through seven. Now put this in context. Paul was not somebody who was sitting there laying on a beach and having the time of his life. Most of the time that he wrote a lot of these letters, he was actually in jail and they were not good conditions. They were not like the jails nowadays. They were bad, bad conditions. But in the process, he says this, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Now we look at our our present day circumstances are like, eh, kind of hard to rejoice. Listen to what he says. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. And that moderation is your gentleness, the way you're living. The Lord is near. He didn't go anywhere. Be careful for nothing. Don't worry. Don't be anxious. Listen to what he says. But in everything by prayer. So it means be talking with God, to be communing with him and listening to him. And supplication, it's bring your earnest request to him with thanksgiving, thanking him that he heard our prayer and he's going to move on our behalf. Let your requests be made known unto God. Let all your requests be made known to God. So let's uh, pause right there. A lot of times people will see that and they'll, they'll just quote, well, don't be anxious for anything. Don't worry about anything. But the thing is, we cannot just take something out and not replace it with something else. When you take something out of your mind and your way of thinking and don't replace it, it's going to come right back because that's familiar. It's comfortable. It's what you've been doing. And so many times we we dwell on the news. We dwell on seemingly prayers being unanswered. We dwell on the circumstances. We dwell on things like that. And we can't just be not anxious. But there's the key. He says, be careful for nothing, don't be anxious, but in everything, in every circumstance, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. So it has to be replaced. The time you spent worrying, the time you spent anguishing over the things that are going on in life has to be replaced with something else. And that replacing is with praying, communing with the Lord God, to praying and letting him know your heart get into his word and then pray his word into your life. Pray this passage into your life and you pray things and worship him. What happens is your time you spent that's feeding your anxiety, feeding the worry is replaced with time spent with God. Now listen to this. If you do that, you replace the, the worrying with praying and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to God, verse 7, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Now, that, now what that means is going to, he's, he is going to give you the peace because you know that he is at hand. He's near. He's with you. He is in you by the dwelling Holy Spirit. So he's there. Now, listen to what it says in verse 8. We also got to go a step further. We got to replace all that time, not only by prayer, but sometimes stop watching. Now, I'm not saying to be ignorant of, of current news and situations. It's okay. But it's a fact that we keep going over and over and over. If you, go to, if you go to social media, this social media site, you're going over and over. The next one, over and over. The next one, over and over. It's a constant feeding of what causes anxiety. So he says in verse 8, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. So the biggest thing is not to worry, not to be anxious, but instead 
we pray with supplication, with thanksgivings. We let those requests be made known to God. In that process, God will give you his peace, which passes all understanding. But then on those moments that we're not in, in prayer, we are to fill our minds with other things. Some of us might need to take a break from social media. Just look at it maybe for a few moments in the morning so you know what's current news and then let it go. Think of the things that this list. And how do you think? Well, one of the best ways is get in scriptures. God is holy and pure and honest and filled with virtue. And so things like that. And so things pertaining to God will do that. Finding some good news to look at. There's other things going on in this world besides the political climate right now. There are other things going on. Now, and we pray for things that are going on, but we don't consume ourselves with it. We consume ourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ. And well, listen what it happens. Paul writing, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do. And we can do that by reading scriptures. And what will happen? And the God of peace shall be with you. So it's my prayer that instead of being so anxious that we pray with supplications and thanksgiving, we make our requests made known unto God. In that process, God will give us the peace which passes all understanding. We'll keep our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And then he helps us to think on those things which are true and honest and just. And we dwell on those things. And the God of peace will be with us. That is the answer. There's no shortcuts. So don't just think, oh, I just can't be worried. I can't be anxious. No, you got to fill that with him. Got to fill that with him. I hope this helps. Be praying for you. If you like what you watch, definitely subscribe, hit the like, and click the notification bell for more videos. Hey, thank you for watching. God bless.